I'm Cosmo Goss, and today we're going to make some Korean style beef jerky. We have a nice lean cut of beef. We have top round, top round, bottom round works. Venison works great, goose works great. We're making it today with beef. And we have a marinade that's gonna go sit in for 24 hours. It's a mixture of Korean chili flakes, soy sauce, a little brown sugar, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of mustard. Now we're going to utilize the meat slicer to get nice strips for our jerky. Some people like their jerky to be thin, some people like it extra dry, some people like it a little bit more moist, some people like it thick. I am one that likes it a little bit thicker and a little bit moist, really tender, juicy pieces of meat. That's the way I like to eat my jerky, so that's the way we're gonna do it today. But again, feel free to cut your meat any way you want. Really important when you start cutting the meat, you cut against the grain. Doesn't matter if it's goose, venison, beef, always cut against the grain. If you cut with the grain, you're gonna end up with a tougher, chewier piece at the end, whether it's grilling a steak or making jerky, anything like that. So we're gonna set it up on our meat slicer. I've got this thing set to seven, and we're gonna get some nice slices out of it. So you can see how nice and thick these are. Again, that's the way that I like to eat my jerky. So really nice to use this little slicer at home. It's super sharp, super efficient, super clean, super uniform, way better than cutting it with a knife. So we've got our meat sliced, we've got our marinade. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this meat in half and do two different jerky styles. One we're gonna run through our tenderizer, the other we're gonna leave just like this and marinade. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of split this marinade in half. So half in there, the other half in there, and then I'll take one half of our meat. That's gonna go right in. And the other half is gonna utilize our meat tenderizer. So just roll them down. It punches holes through it, tenderizing tougher cuts. This other one might be a little drier, a little crisper. This one might be a little juicier, a little more tender. So two different styles. Again, with jerky, there's, there's so many different ways to do it. So I'm excited to just make two different batches. All right, so we've got our meat. We've got our two different styles. Last thing to do is just marinate it and then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. All right, so we've let our jerkies marinate for 24 hours. We have one that's gone through the meat tenderizer, and we have one that's just been simply sliced on the meat slicer. Same marinade, two different styles. We're probably gonna get two different textures, uh, two different uh, final products, but we are excited to try them both. We have our Gorilla Silverback, and we've got the jerky tray set in there, so we're gonna go, we'll set this, we'll probably check back in six to eight hours. Some people like their jerky to go 24 hours, 18 hours, and get really dry. I like my jerky a little bit more supple, a little juicier, almost like a steak bite, rather than a traditional hard jerky. Again, there's 101 ways to do jerky, and these are the two we're gonna try today. So let's go put them on the smoker. So our jerky's been going for about six hours. It's how I like it, it's just finished for me. Still a little juicy, still a little tender. But man, the flavor is just unbelievable. 